a rather odd topic for a top five list. And I know I am driving Blaze with Crosstack Battle videos into the dirt, but I do believe that there are some tracks that should have made it into the game from the Persona side. As a matter of fact, I felt that the Persona side got pretty gimped in terms of music as they mostly stuck to the Persona 4 Arena songs and some openings, which is fine, but I still think they could have went further with it. Hell, more songs in the game is nothing but a good thing, but maybe licensing issues is the reason, or that Atlas just only allowed them to use certain tracks, or probably some other backstore stuff going on that isn't my place to say. But this is my list compiling up five tracks that I personally believe should have made into Blazewood Cross Tech Bell, and that there are some guidelines for this list that I have just an unlikely event that people ask me in general. One, no tracks from Persona 5. I honestly have no idea why I need to make this one, considering there are literally no Persona 5 characters in the games, but in the slim chance anyone ever asked, I will put up this disclaimer. 2. Songs from the Persona 4 and 3 dancing games, as well as Persona Q, will be excluded. These games are in a weird gray area in terms of lining up what songs could possibly exist in the Blaze with Cross Tag Battle, and since I had a headache trying to go through them, I left them all out. And finally, before I continue onwards, please support the channel and help me out by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and follow me on Twitter as it'll really benefit me greatly and get more videos like this out more often. And without further ado, let's begin with the video. Break out of Atsushi Kitajo. Breakout of is the opening theme song for Persona 4 Arena Ultimax, and it was composed by Atsushi Kitajo. Now, I was surprised that this song didn't make it into the game. Now, understandably, Arxus had did a quote-unquote good job of ignoring Persona 4 Arena Ultimax's existence while dropping everyone they could that was already in base Persona 4 Arena until Adachi himself got into cross that battle. Now, I kind of figured that Ad with Adachi getting in, at least the opening of Persona 4 Arena Ultimax would have got in, but I guess not. Now, I will explain a bit later on why this kind of throws me off later in the video, but for now, Break Out of takes the fifth spot as one of the songs I would have loved to see in Blaze with Cross Tag Battle from Persona. Best Friends, Shoji Maguro. Best Friends is the opening theme song for the very first Persona 4 Arena game, and just like with Break Out Of, it never made it into Blaze with Cross Tag Battle. Now, what's odd to me is that songs like Pursuing My True Self, which is the opening for Persona 4, and Shadow World, which is the opening for Persona 4 Golden, could make it into Cross Tag Battle, but not the actual opening to the Arena games who rap in Cross Tag Battle. I don't know exactly why they didn't do it or why songs like Shadow World felt suitable to stuff into the game, but regardless, it's still a choice that baffles me. Now, regardless, while Best Friends isn't exactly my favorite Persona song out there, it is a still a good song to me, and I would have loved to see it in the game. It just still weirds me out to this day as to why they chose the openings for, you know, the, the for Cross Tag. It's so, it's so weird to me that I can't get over that. I'm like, I'm like, well. You guys are using Persona 4 Arena characters. I figured the Arena songs would have been an exception to put into the game, like the character themes. 
but I guess not, and that just remains a weird thing that I'm still thinking about to this very day. Ying Yang, Tetsuya Kobayashi. So for those who don't know, Ying Yang is a song that played in the Persona 4 Golden anime during the fight against Yu Narukami and Toru Adachi. Now, unlike with Best Friends and Break Out Of, I can actually understand why Ying Yang didn't get into Cross Tag Bell, considering the fact that it's an anime original song, and I don't know what Atlas you know, deals with copyright or uh, copyrights holders of these songs regarding the tracks outside of the actual games are, but then I started thinking about how songs from like Final Fantasy VII Advent Children, which is a movie, that got into Smash Ultimate. But considering that's a completely different situation, it's a completely different game series and a completely different company, I'm not going to use that as a basis for my little argument here as to why Ying Yang isn't in Cross Tag Bell. All I'm going to say is that Ying Yang would have been a great team theme for Yu Narukami and Toru Adachi. Now, Persona has re-released, or well, Atlas has re-released their anime tracks from Persona 4, the animation, and Persona 4, the golden animation, alongside game tracks before, so they are free to at least distribute it, but I guess it's an entirely different factor when they're trying to let other companies use their IPs, and I guess by extension their music as well, so that's a weird thing that I'm not even going to go into in this video, but the point is, Ying Yang, good song, should have been in cross Egg. Mass Destruction, Shoji Maguro. So just like with Best Friends and Break Out Of, I'm actually generally surprised that Mass Destruction isn't in Cross Tag Bell, considering that we have Persona 3 characters in Cross Tag Bell in the form of Akihiko Sonata, Mitsuru Kurijo, Igis, and Elizabeth, there are four of them. Now you see in Blaze Blue Cross Tag Bell, if you have two teams of two characters from the same franchise, they will have their series respective Crossing Fate as a bow track if you hit auto. Now granted, Akihiko, Mitsuru, Igis, and Elizabeth are technically labeled as Persona 4 Arena characters due to the context that they are Persona 4 Arena characters within Cross Tag Battle, not Persona 3 characters. That being said, having Mass Destruction for them would have made sense. Outside of Last Surprise, Mass Destruction is the most iconic Persona song, or hell, even the most iconic Atlas track in existence, and even got into Smash Ultimate along with Battle Game of the Soul. Hell, we even have enough Persona 3 characters to justify more Persona 3 songs outside of the original Burn My Dread and Battle Hymn of the Soul. And I can't really count Battle Hymn of the Soul because that's Elizabeth's theme song for Persona 4 Arena and Cross Tag Battle, so I got nothing. Burn My Dread, Last Battle. Shoji Maguro. I will. <laughs> In 
And so the final song I have for my top five list here is Burn My Dread Last Battle. Now, while I have nothing against the original Burn My Dread and its occlusion in Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, as it matches up with Persona 4 getting its openings like Pursuing My True Self and Shadow World, and I can perfectly understand that, it is so weird it didn't decide to put in the last battle version of the song as it would fit more as a battle theme in my opinion. Plus, this would be another song from Persona 3 to make characters like Aegis, Akihiko, Elizabeth, and Mitsuru to at least feel like they're actual Persona 3 characters instead of being lumped under their Persona 4 arena banner. I mean, they are in the context of Blazing Cross Tag Battle, but just shut up. <laughs> Plus, the song is super good, and we definitely need more Lotus Juice in this damn game. I think we need Lotus Juice in every game. I don't care what we... I don't care. Put Lotus Juice in everything. And that's it for the top five. If there are any songs from Persona 4 or Persona 3 that you would have loved to see in Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, definitely hit me up in the comments below. And as I mentioned before, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Twitter. Without further ado, I will see you all next time. Peace out, everyone, and I hope you all have a great day.